Hello, hello, and uh, welcome. I'm Sire. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about light uh, and how uh, that works in Minecraft. Uh, it seems that uh, you liked my last uh, episode about uh, enchanting in Minecraft, so I thought that I would do something similar. Um, so, what I'm going to talk about today is... Uh, um, yeah, it's like some different things. First, uh, what blocks emit light and how much they do, how much light they emit. Uh, then how light spreads. I'm going to talk about uh, uh, how light, uh, how to light up your world uh, in the correct way to prevent spawns. Uh, I'm also going to talk about uh, what blocks that reduce block, uh, reduce or blocks light totally, uh, and. Uh, what causes light updates and how to prevent lag on your server or in your game by light updates. So uh, let's get to it and um, have a look in at this. So the first I want to clear up is uh, uh, this misconception that all redstone causes light updates and uh, that's not really true because the, the only thing that emits light is this redstone torch and uh, if you if you see here you can see that it's only around that um, redstone torch that it emits light and these other redstone parts don't emit any light at all. Um, you can also see that uh, none of these emits any light at all uh, so they don't uh, influence the light in any way. Then we have these items. Uh, all of them uh, emit light level 1. Uh, that's just something I guess is that is cosmetic or something because uh, light level 1 doesn't really do anything except like light up the object itself. Uh, so yeah. Um, then we have uh, things that emit light level 7 and it's the redstone torch and the ender chest. Uh, then when we come to this uh, point here, uh, everything below level 7 or uh, at level 7 and below uh, won't prevent spawns in the overworld from, from any mob uh, at all. So so that is not something that you have to like really bother too much about. Uh, what you have to bother about are the, the things that uh, emits more light than 7 so that they actually prevent um, prevent spawns. So everything from 8 and up will prevent uh, things spawning uh, in a, some area around the object itself. So for example this portal frame here it's at light level 11 and that means that uh, the portal frame itself or the portal not the portal frame sorry the portal uh, emits light level 11 in these blocks here. Uh, that means that the blocks outside, straight outside this block for example, on top of this block, it will have light level 10 and then it's light level 9 outside here and so on. So the further out you get the, the lower the light level will be. Um, and uh, so portal frames gives uh, 11. Uh, then you have the furnace that when it's active uh, will give a light level of 13. Uh, it's not really a light source that you would use, I guess, but uh, it's good to know. Uh, then you have the only thing that emits 14, uh, light level 14, and that is the torch. Uh, and then you have light level 15, and there we have a lot of stuff that emits light level 15. Uh, remember, this torch emits light level 14 inside this air block that it is inside. Uh, these emit light level 15 inside of these blocks, but since they are like almost, uh, well, they're not like transparent, uh, you won't ever have something inside of that block. So, uh, on top of this block, for example, you have light level 14 in this block here, and uh, here, and so on, on, on these blocks, and f level 14 here. So, these emit light level 15. We have, gla uh, have uh, these fires that emit 15 and lava, both the source block and all of the other uh, lava uh, emits 15. Uh, these uh, end portal frames emit uh, 1 as we saw back there, uh, while this portal itself emits 15. Then we have the beacon. The beacon itself emits light level 15. 
but uh, an important thing to, to know is that the beam itself or the beam doesn't emit any light and you can see there over there it's lit up everything around these things here but around this beacon or around, around the beacon beam that is 15 be, uh, above ground uh, we don't have any light spreading here so so the beam itself uh, doesn't give any light at all um, so how does light spread well as you could see uh, as I told you before that uh, these are have a light level of 15 inside so a glowstone block for example will have 15 in that block 14 here 13 12 11 10 9 8 and then you something can spawn and so I've marked these uh, blocks with uh, with the colors here and and uh, we can see I've put uh, white on 14 and above and that is the block above like this block for example or the block where the torch is inside that's 14 or above uh, here uh, then we have 13 and so on down to 7 or below that's black uh, so this is the color scheme I've used uh, so it, if you look at these two uh, this one is above uh, above the ground and this one is in the floor uh, that means that this will have shorter distance that it can tra travel before uh, losing light. That's because uh, inside of that block it, you have light level 15, but then it have to, has to travel up one. And here it's 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and then outside you have 7. So then it, it having a block like this will give just as much as having a torch because that's 14 inside that block so then we have uh, 13 12 11 10 9 8 and then it can spawn outside so whether you have a torch like that or a glowstone block like that it will be the same distance but if you dig down the torch into the ground like this it will have to travel up uh, one block above like that and then you have uh, 13 on that block because the torch is 14 and then 12 uh, 11 10 9 8 and then you have 7 outside so how, how you place things uh, is important for how it works um, so as you can see here are the different things so here is how the light spreads when it's around the torch uh, you can see that it doesn't spread as fast in the diagonal and that is because light actually spreads uh, if you you take it out from the torch it doesn't spread the diagonal it spreads like out like this and then it goes to that and then here and then to that and here and here so if you we count here we have 14 in the, inside the torch 13 12 11 10 9 8 and then on these two blocks out here, out here we have seven. So this is how one torch gives lights up uh, the world around it. Here you can see that on the wall uh, it behaves in the same way uh, around the torch and the wall. So this block will have 13 because that's uh, 14 and then we have uh, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and then we have 7 in these two blocks here. So that's the same. In a corner it looks like this, and uh, then you can think of it like if you would cover this with a flat surface, just tuck it down on this. That's how it would look from the side. So the most efficient way to put torches on a flat surface is like this. Uh, and you, you have a pattern like this where you only have these two ov overlaying on this block and nowhere else. So so that's the only place where they overlap. Uh, all the other places they will have uh, like on the sides like that. So let me just grab a glass block here. Um, so if we go over to... Let's take this first. If we go over to how it looks 
if you're on a hill side, for example, then you can see that it's not as thick as that one over there. If we have this this torch here, uh, that will just uh, spread like three up and three down as the furthest, and that is because you have this thing that it spreads out like like that: 13, 12, uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, uh, and then out here will be 7, and this will be even lower. So, so that will be how it spreads in in a hill. If you're in a corner, that will or like on a corner of, for example, if you're in some mountain or something and it's like in a corner, that will be even worse. So as you can see here, it's just from the top scene, it's just two blocks on the, the diagonal before it can spawn. And that is because the, it spreads uh, out from this, uh, 1 or like 13, uh, 12, 11, 10, 9, and then 8, and then we go out to this block, and that's 7. So it needs to travel in, it only travels in x, y, z, and uh, uh, those directions only. So it can't travel diagonally in, on, in, in any direction. And light only spreads through transparent blocks or, uh, or through uh, air blocks. So all air blocks and transparent blocks will update when you have a light update. That's also important to, to know. Um, something else that is important to know is that when it's, it, that light can spread around corners, but it will spread as it usually do, does with uh, 13 there, since this is 14, uh, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and then we have 7 here and here. So it can spread around the corner, but uh, it isn't as efficient as, I mean, these two blocks are just, uh, well, really close, but it needs to go around the corner. Uh, if you're in some stair, that's even worse, uh, then then you can see that it's really hard to to get it to cover the other side. If you would have uh, some steps here, they wouldn't be lit up, even though you have it straight on the other side. So if you have like some diagonal stair, you need to, to really lit, light it up. Um, so here it travels like one out first and then down like like this. So all of these blocks need to uh, need the light to spread through before it comes down here there. And the same thing happens when it goes up. It needs to spread through all of these these blocks or sorry these blocks uh, and up here and then it can try to spread around here. So light spreads from blocks around it, basically. If you're, if you, I mean, you usually put torches on the wall sometimes, and that can be a bad thing because if you put it really high up, then you will not have have uh, things lit up that much, since it needs to travel down first and then travel out like this, uh, or I mean, it can travel in any of these directions basically, but it needs to end up. Uh, yeah, it needs to go diagonal down to to get out. So sometimes you're when you're out outdoors, you put like some torch on some pillar like this, and that can be a bad thing uh, because, as you can see, it's not really lit up that much. Uh, here, if if that would this would be a bridge where where you had like walls or something like like this. Then you might want to have something on on the pillars like this on the sides, and I mean this is five in between each one and and three wide bridge, and still you won't be able to light up, uh, light up this part in the middle middle here. So it's important to to count how light spreads. I mean if we would count here, we would count this one as one, two, th three here, four, five. 6, and that is how many blocks it can spread, like 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and here we have 7. So it's important to, to really count when, when you're doing things like this. Another thing, an another example, 
is like when you have a tunnel and or something like this where you have your chests on the side or something and then you have torches on the wall just two above ground it's not really something strange uh, you have them three in between you think that yeah that should be enough but as you can see here here we have one gap and we have another another one here where things can spawn so it's really important to to count how uh, yeah to count before you put torches and stuff. Um, so let's go over to what uh, blocks or uh, things that light can go through. And uh, as you can see here, light goes through both uh, clear glass and transparent glass and glass panes without problems. Uh, it also goes through uh, these portals without any problem at all. Um, However, if we have a look at these ice block and glass blocks, uh, this will reduce light by two for every every ice block or glass block that you put there. So, so now I reduce it by two more. If I put another uh, well, another set of blocks here, I will reduce it by two more, and so on. So, so, uh, and that is plus the the distance it have to, has to travel anyway. Uh, this is water, it will do the same thing. That's why it can get dark in the water pretty fast when you swim down. Uh, here we have some things that might give some misconceptions because sometimes people think that, yeah, well, I've put stairs like this and it should uh, leave things or leave light going passing through it. And um, this actually decreases the light infinitely much. So uh, that it looks like it spreads out here is just a visual thing. It doesn't really spread out here. It's uh, an infinite amount of reduction beyond these, these stairs and so on. So they don't... Yeah, you, you can't get light passing through them, basically. Uh, the same is true for, the, for this ice block. It's opaque. Uh, when it comes to uh, these um, leaves here, or any leaf, it diffuses sunlight. Uh, and that is something that you will have to think about, because it, well, it diffuses sunlight. Uh, that doesn't mean that it uh, does anything to normal light, it's just diffusing sunlight. So, for example, if we have uh, light up here from the now it's night, but if we have it from from the uh, sun and uh, the light passes down here, uh, this block above here will have 15. Uh, every every block that in the world that is uh, that has uh, sunlight is yeah just straight from above will have uh, 15. But then this these blocks here diffuses the light. That means that they will have 14, uh, this will have 13, uh, 12, 11, 10, 10, 9, and then this will be 8. So if it, this would be one deeper, or the leaves would be one higher, let's try that. If we would have something like this, then stuff would be able to spawn down here. Um, of course not when, when we have this open part on the side, because then, then light can go around and then this would have light on 15, but uh, let's imagine that this is an infinitely long tunnel that is just open up there. Um, if we would have them further down, we would have, uh, they would have 14, then we had uh, 13, 12, 11. So this would be okay. Something that might be interesting to know is that if, I mean, if this block is under sunlight, now it's dark of course, but then that would have 15, 14, uh, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and then this block here would be um, able to spawn stuff inside here. So so you w would not be able to have uh, something this deep without lighting in there. Um, let's go over to light updates. That's a really important thing that you need to know about. This is probably the most important thing about this that, yeah, <laughs> at all. Uh, here you can see that these two contraptions, 
if we have a look at them, we put them on both of them. They both uh, update uh, the redstone. Uh, they both have the same amount of redstone things in them. But this one doesn't do any light updates, while this one does, because of this redstone torch. It updates the light around it, but if we turn it uh, off here, you can see that this doesn't do anything to the surroundings, but this does when, when you update it. Uh, that means that all of the blocks around needs to be calculated what the new light level is, and every time it goes on and off, this block has to uh, update and calculate what the new li light level is, then that block will tell the blocks around it what light level it has, and then everything else will update. So so it will go out from, from around here. And that means that, for example, if you would, would want to build a lighthouse, and you would have one, uh, yeah, one redstone lamp like this, and you would have like some pillar just to to save on something and and then you would have uh, this updating here then all the blocks within this this glass or including this glass things here will be updated every time it turns on and off this will be updated every single block inside of this thing that I have here and that is quite a huge area for just one I mean if we would not have this redstone pillar here it would just be the diamond shape so if you update that uh, block up there you would have a huge area that would need to update every time and this needs to be done on server side which means that uh, it, it can lag down the server pretty much i mean if we would put pillars like this covering the whole whole area around here i i don't think that <laughs> my computer even though it's a really good computer i don't think that it would be able to handle it due to the amount of light updates uh, i mean the computer the fans go on when i when i turn it off on or uh, and that is because of, of this much light updates so that is something that is important to know uh, i guess that we could before we end this i guess that we could talk about mobs as well and uh, uh, some mobs basically what you need to know I, I won't go into that too much but uh, basically uh, what you need to know is that uh, all the mobs in the overworld except for slimes uh, in some certain conditions um, behaves uh, like that they can spawn on light level 7 and below uh, while uh, mobs in the nether usually needs uh, 11 or something or below to spawn uh, like uh, what are they called uh, yeah blazes for example they need 11 so that's why it's super hard to to light up uh, a blaze spawn so yeah i guess that that's it for for this time uh, i hope that you liked the video and if you did feel free to share it with your friends or leave a like below uh, I would also be super happy if you <laughs> would put some comments in the comment section and do that whether you like the video or not. Just give me comments on what you think about it because uh, it really helps if I get some some hints of what you liked and what you didn't like, especially what you didn't like because that's that, then I can change that to, to the next video. So yeah. Um, Please check out my other videos as well if you liked it. So um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.